Hello, this is the IP4 TV presentation of our latest product called Solid UI. This is a complete DVB UI and hybrid UI made on QML. So we have a quite good cooperation here with Nokia QT guys to do all on top of a pan-European certified DVB stack you see here from Ocean Blue. So you see the channel list and you see already the effects we have switching between the channels and then of course you see underneath the now or next uh, button for example if I close here the channel bar and I open the EPG um, so you see here what is coming next um, we have of course an easy customization for certain different views so even crit view or things like this would be available if you press OK and this is also an important message the complete navigation is just possible by doing with arrow keys and OK uh, so you don't need any certain other keys so here you get a description you can have even here already the things for recording um, everything is based in one clear structured menu so you don't have to learn different things um, the complete DVB stack is with the same animation with the same indication and make a customization here as I said is quite easy by changing color position customer logo because we don't have anything like C, C++ we just have this high level language called QML um, based on this Nokia QT. If I go now back to the main menu, um, you see we have also the web TV parts which can be uh, also seamless mixed. We have the media part as a part of our um, media player, the complete UPnP stuff, the recording session and here the settings. If I go now to the settings just to show how the UI is really working so we have here all the things like you know the network setting for wireless or wired uh, we support all the standards already WPS already I just go now into the major settings where we have for example here if I select um, a selection box then you see the highlighted blinking also here the effects by sliding in sliding out so if I go now for example just to another language you see how fast it is um, because it's all with databases underneath so even the EPG thing is using an SQL database and uh, make the things quite fast and uh, yeah and quite easy to handle the web part so now we start the browser and you see this is really quite fast uh, we have here a portal um, just to have a demonstration this is now actually um, an opera browser underneath but we have this as well for webkit so it depends on what is the business and the use case for it if i start now here the video so we have more or less a seamless um, streaming of content from the media takes on the german networks and let me see maybe exactly this channel is not available now let me take another one the news from nine o'clock yeah you see this is a live presentation so <laughs> no fake even in a presentation video maybe the ten o'clock news wasn't available right now but just to give you the impression this is the media player as an embedded media player in a browser so we can have all available codecs like um, whatever MPEG we have different containers different protocols like HLS smooth streaming progressive download so everything is already implemented in here and can be used as a part of a browser object so nearly every pages are quite easy to be implemented so the customization for your customers are in a quite short time I switch now back to TV and now back to web just to give you an impression how fast the switch is between these two worlds and this is possible because we are using our unique we called launcher so we have a real multi-application 
um, architecture here underneath, which allow us to have things like media player, browser, DVB stack running all at the same time continuously, and we just switch between the tasks with different layers and so on. So I hope you got the right impression about our new UI, and I hope you enjoy it. For further questions, uh, feel free to contact us in www.ip4.tv. Uh, Thank you very much.